okay so now we're going back to that oil uh, that uh, second uh, compression ring again you know and I was showing you in this case how that uh, second compression ring is as different from all the rings okay so we have the uh, the top part right uh, which you know is, is, is not showing that, uh, that that anymore because like I said this is worn out okay but I, what what I was wanted to explain to you that okay this is the top side okay okay so the bottom side of this ring of this uh, oil ring or this uh, compression ring in this case it's got an oil scraper it's like it's got a little step if you see that bear with me maybe the sun there you go there's this little step right here okay little step what it does this thing scrapes it scrapes the oil down in a down motion as the piston goes up and down so that little step helps in scraping the, the oil down in the cylinder wall okay that's the big difference about this ring right here okay so you gotta make sure you you place your rings correctly or if you're if not your engine's not gonna work correctly it's not gonna work fine okay and then what brings us to the top to the top compression ring the main compression ring which is this one right here okay this one right here okay goes on the very top of the top groove okay that that oil uh, ring that we just talked about went here in the middle the one that was the guy the one that's got the scraper goes right here then we got the top one which is this one that we're talking about this one goes on the top the very top okay this is just a uh, pretty much doesn't have no step or anything and that's just the top compressor ring okay one thing I wanted to talk to you about or talk to whomever is watching this video about is that uh, the the grooves or uh, you see the, the space in between the rings okay for instance okay when you put your ring or you, when you put your piston into your jug or into the any cylinder you gotta make sure that the gaps in this case this gaps are separated okay you gotta uh, go through a process what they call clacking or spacing them what I usually do in this case okay what I usually do is uh, okay so that would be my jog okay let me use this marker right here I will mark okay what I, I will do in this case you know I will mark here okay and since I got three gaps for three rings in this case where the new one has only got three gaps okay the, the new rings I will place them 120 degrees apart one there and the other one here okay so pretty much when my piston goes in you know I will make sure that my gaps end up one there okay the other one there like I, I marked and the other one here making sure that the gaps do not overlap because if they do overlap you're gonna lose compression okay so for instance right when I have my piston already assembly assemble and again this right here is for you know training purposes I make sure that my arrow is facing that way to the flywheel okay at that point I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna use the new ones uh, right here I'm gonna make sure that the gap okay my arrows already marked it down that way okay so I'm gonna make sure that my gap for the first piston or we'll see gap for the the, the the ring or the oil piston I make sure that and I do apologize because this is a kind of hard to be working off the camera and working with one, one hand while I do this so that's the bottom uh, oil ring I'll make sure that is gap is right there on the bottom
Okay. Then I'm going to move on to the middle uh, ring. And I'm going to bring the gap. It should be right here. Uh, here's the gap for the middle ring. Okay. Okay, 120 degrees apart. Okay. And I'm going to make sure my other ring gap which is where are you at right here make sure that this bad boy is on the top so pretty much just uh, I'm gonna put marks over here I got mark gap here I got gap here I'll go with that and then again this this bottom gap right here just so you guys get an idea okay so and that's how I have a gap and now that is how it's gonna go into the cylinder when it goes into the cylinder boy goes into the cylinder like that that's ready to go in with the gaps are all separated ready to go in and this thing is kind of hard but uh, yeah so that's how the piston will go. That's how. That's how it will go. Then you have to use your tool, the compression tool, to place the piston in there, and then the piston uh, will be assembled and ready to be mounted into the uh, into the engine. So that's pretty much on how uh, you know. Uh, piston ring orientation works and the different things about uh, you know the pistons and, 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 and not tricks you know things that you have to do in this case to make sure that your engine runs correctly if not like I said you know you're gonna have something malfunction something is gonna break and then you're gonna end up paying the price in the long run for it alright again that, that's the piston kit and we use that uh, old piston just to, you know, emphasize pretty much, you know, or for training purposes again. Again, I, I would have won. Oh, there you go. You can see the error right now. Uh, yeah. Kind of hard to see. Kind of early in the morning, though. The sun is not shining that good yet. But yeah, that's the error. That's supposed to uh, face the flywheel. So that's pretty much it. Well, you guys have a great day. Hope you have a great day today. Bye-bye.